The 2015 Investec Super Rugby Competition is proudly brought to you by Placemakers. Sopoanga and up go the flags and the Highlanders lead early. Sopoanga's kick. Distance is fine. Accuracy good. Six points to nil. Fantastic composure. He struck it brilliantly, Lima Sopoanga. And they certainly are taking their opportunities better at the moment. The Highlanders deserve their lead. So an excellent clearance, but he's now thrown it. And here goes Perinara on the charge. Looking to get on the outside. And just couldn't make the pass. Ben Smith made a decisive tackle. As Perinara gets it in. The front rows go down, but he's going to let it keep going. Here's Vito on the charge. Drops it off to Sarvia. And the powerful winger gets close enough. Now, Shields. Again, it's tight in there. Perinara looking wide. Goes wide for Nono! There's the first try. We're not sure. We're not sure yet. Well, great thinking, Manonu, anyway, because Sevilla went in, didn't he? He was the first receiver off uh, Vita. He had a standing start, so he didn't make many inroads, Julian Sevilla. That created the uh, space out to the woods to the left. Nonu, with all his experience, sat out there saying, give me a chance. I think that's fine. So it's an unconverted try, 6-5. to five. Now, stepping is Sopawani, driven down in a solid tackle. Getting close to the break. Wonder if Sopawanga thinks of the drop kick again. I think he's stuck in the bottom of the ruck at the moment. He'll have to get himself off the ground. But it's a real possibility. Charged by Fikitoa. Aaron Smith holds it up. Now he gets it away. Dixon in a bit of space. Elliot Dixon still going. Close. Oh, wow. I think he got it down. How strong is he? You want to take the last call? Oh, I don't think he thinks that it's it's worth a look. Oh, I think he banged it down. He's not convinced himself, but what a monumental effort. This angle's not a good one for Elliot Dixon. And that's not the best angle. This might be better for him. There. I don't know if he's got enough control. I don't think he has. Yako, you may have to try. Yes, you may. The try is given. Oh, ho! And now we can just admire the pure strength of Elliot Dixon. Don't underestimate the work of Aaron Smith. He held a couple of defenders there. One, two, three defenders. Took Barrett in as well. And then Dixon, one, two, three players. Milner Scudder, four. They cannot stop him. Sopawanga's kick is bang on target. So the try is converted. And half time in the final. 13 points to five. So here's Bowden Barrett. And it is drifting towards the post. And this time the flags go up. And it's 13 to eight. Sofawanga finding the line. Have a look at Nahola here. He got into position early. And he was certainly supporting his own body weight. So Coltman throws. Tipped by Reddish. A bit untidy, but it's now it goes to Naholo. 
Aaron Smith works it off for Masi Manu. Trying to hold him up here. Trying to keep him up there, but not able to do so. As Aaron Smith goes long this time. Sobuanga sees a little gap. Slipped the pass nicely to Honick. And referee's got the arm out here. Penalty going the Hollanders way, but now Fecky Chala sees a bit of a gap. He'll keep this advantage rolling for as long as possible as Ben Smith comes in, driven down in the tackle of Eves. Now Dixon wrestled to the ground. Ben Smith still there for Dixon. How much longer can the advantage go? Honick. As Aaron Smith serves it up to Sopawanga. Now Fecky Tower. Buckman. Here's a chance. The advantage is over as Osborne takes it in. He's got another one here, though. As the Hurricanes try to defend this attack from the Highlanders. Now Ainley takes it in. Looking to work it towards Naholo's wing. Here's Dixon. Naholo gets it down. Well, if you're on your feet, I can understand why. If you're a Highlander supporter, that was brilliant. Concerted patience. They went through two penalty advantages. Nice and accurate. Osborne went close as they worked it back from the left to the right. There's Bowden Barrett. And he struck it nicely. And he's picked up the three points. It's 18 to 11. We're into the final quarter. Very compressed lineup. And oh, it's badly thrown. And the Hurricanes have got it. So off it goes to two among her Allen. Crashes his way out of the field, wasn't held. Now Perinara away for Vito. As Perinara changes the direction. Across the Milner scatter again as they fly at him. Trying to hold him up off the ground. Perinara once more. To Munger Allen using his considerable bulk. Perinara hands it up to Broadhurst charging hard. Now Perinara again. Barrett. And if it goes, Savi has lost it. Oh, and the crowd just show exactly how everybody is feeling he was in for all money julian severe the pass was slightly on his shoulder but he just has to catch it well you mentioned you've never seen it from ben smith how good a finisher has this guy been over the last few years and you'd back him every time they certainly did didn't they yes. smith gets it in scrum holding well so aaron smith Sopuanga charged by Perinara. Got it back though, Sopuanga. He had presence of mind, and Teki Toa snaps it up. And now the ball's been lost forward by the Highlanders. And the Hurricanes get a penalty. Looking to bring the margin back to four now. Bowden Barrett, and he does so. So he kicks his third penalty goal in the second half. 18-14, and about 14 to go. Now here's Dixon. Outstanding game from Elliot Dixon. Aaron Smith again. Now drop kick from Banks. He's got it. Banks drops the goal and it's a seven point advantage well he had three cracks at it he had to prop off his right foot there but he just went a wee bit further to the left and proved the angle from the right foot and he was cool and calm wonderful hurricanes gotta get seven in a hurry and they make a mistake from the kickoff right so when it goes when it comes out, there'll be a minute remaining. 
So Aaron Smith hands it off to Naholo. Why not? No, no, it won't run. go anywhere now, Justin. No. Just try and shut this down. Aaron Smith dictating the terms. Nasi Manu wants the ball. Leave it up, really. 40 seconds. Aaron Smith again. He's got the willing band of forwards ready to drag it up to just kill the time as best they can. Here's Manu again. Net head on by Thompson. Jamie Joseph looks on. How is he staying that composed? It's only seconds away as Wheeler cuts it up a few more metres. It's going to be there again for Aaron Smith. There goes the siren. Smith's going to bang it into touch. <laughs> 20 years of heartbreak and disappointment for Highlanders fans. They've won the Super Rugby title. Incredible scenes here. Look at the emotion. Oh, you've got to feel for the Hurricanes. You really do, but... What a moment for these individuals, for these players, for this franchise. Let's not forget, they never handed up the lead. They got their noses in front with Sopoanga's boot, and they never handed up the lead. Absolutely fantastic group of players. What great spirit. Well, great excitement for those people down south. I'm sure there's one heck of a party in Dunedin and in Invercargill, Omaru, all members of this very, very proud franchise. Look at the motion. Nasi Manu, what a way to say goodbye. And there's the other way to say goodbye. Unbridled joy, and why not? From the Highlanders. Jamie Joseph doesn't normally show a lot of emotion, but there's plenty there tonight. I'm sure in the middle of there somewhere will be one Tony Brown, and his bow, he might have made a difference. There he is. He was one of the first on. I <laughs> saw him go sprinting into the middle of the, of the celebrations. There's the other side of the story. I well, now see there's one last thing to do, and I'd ask... Greg Joubert to grab this mighty trophy and ask you boys to come forward and receive the Super Rugby Trophy for 2015, your champion Highlanders. of the 2015 Investec Super Rugby Competition was proudly brought to you by Placemakers.